Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use your laser engraving machine to do a Mother's Day card. That's right, look at that. By the end of this video, you'll know how to do that. Um, so, actually, can you see it? Yeah, look at that, kind of neat, right? All laser engraved. Um, so you wanna save your paper and I'll go over the tips at the end of this video. Um, but really handy, really crafty, and there's no limit to what you can do. Um, and aside from saving your paper, so you're gonna save your file. If you save your file, you'll be able to work with it later on. So that let's say, hey, I've got this particular card stock. I know what settings will work best for that. So that could be your Mother's Day or maybe Happy Birthday is might be a thicker stock. And you have to experiment with it and see what, um, you know, what settings work right for you. And not just when it comes to the power, like let's say in this particular sense, the power was at uh, 60%, uh, but also the speed, you have to slow it down. Certain materials don't work well when they're going really fast and certain materials work well and you get results like that when they go really slow. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started, come. I'll show you how to do this Mother's Day thing. Okay, so we have the Cut Lab X application open. This is the, you will, you'll see as your splash page. Uh, what we want to do first is turn on the printer. See the blue light turning on right there? Okay, in case you can't see it, I'll lift the camera up a little bit. See, right there, make sure that's blue. Okay, um, next what we're going to do is we're here in the Cut Lab application. You're going to click there. Um, and now you're going to go into your Wi-Fi. See the Wi-Fi? So click there the little umbrella thingy and then you see the Wayne Lux K10 select it okay and now that we're there don't don't um, click connect just yet what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to open there'll be a link to the file in the github repository um, and then we're gonna go to for me it's desktop it's right there the happy Mother's Day uh, graphics uh, feel free to use your own to follow along whichever you like um, because in this particular moment, it's going to be your setting. So by default, you're going to see that like, wait, why is it so small? Don't adjust it. Don't touch it because this is the template of the build plate that's inside of there. Okay. It's basically simulating that. Okay. And so if, and if you were connected via USB, you would see it, 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 it would probably simulate that too. All right. So here we go. Wi-Fi. Now it's 192.168.0.1. Okay. That's the IP address to this thing right here. Okay. So now when we click connect, see, it's just working its magic. And there you go. You see you're connected. And of course, everything's a little bit bigger, um, as you can see, but don't adjust, just shrink it in, just bring it in um, with your, um, however you, uh, so we're just going to select in there inside the screen. And whoop, you see how when you're, it's really sensitive. All right. So there you have it. You're happy. Whoops. Happy, happy. Oops, I'm not so happy. So this part is a part that's glitchy with the application, but they're working on fixing this. Um, so here we go. All right, so now that we have the graphics the way it is here, what we're gonna do is you see how it says Happy Mother's Day, select that. And once you select it, see the speed to that is 300, okay? Because of the graphics and we're printing on paper. The engraving times is how many times it's gonna engrave? One, because it's paper. If it was uh, wood, or another material, you would um, probably do two or three, but actually the speed also determines uh, how nicely it's going to engrave. Power, we put it at 60 because it's thinner paper. 55 might work too, uh, depending on your sheet. Okay, remember, this is selected here for that experience. And now you're the best part, right? We have engraving times one, same speed, but maximum power at 100%. It's just gonna work better because it's a font, okay? It's text. All right, so without any further ado, remember how to do your preview. We preview it, right, to see where the um, light is. And we don't see anything as of yet, but what we'll do is we'll put the paper in. Okay, so we'll open that like that. And I believe this is, yep, see the blue dot? So the blue dot is where it is, but for us, um, we'll know. How we get a preview and it tells us where it's going to actually print around. So when we press preview, then we can see where it will actually do its thing. So as you see, I have selected here that, but if I do that and let go, now if I press preview, 
it's going to do the whole thing. So make sure you don't have anything selected, because if you have something selected, then it's just going to print that, okay? So make sure you do that. And if I have that selected, and if I press preview, it's only going to preview that, and it's only going to print that. So make sure nothing is highlighted when you go to press print. And now we go to start. It's going to upload it to the K10, the Wayne Lux. Wait a little bit. And I believe, yeah, and there you go. So now it's going to start with You're the Best, hopefully. Yeah, I believe so, because look, it's at 1%. Um, so 1% means that it's got a long way to go. And if it's only doing the letters at the 1%, then that pretty much... Um, you know, sums up what the rest of the experience is going to be like, which is going to be wonderful. See, and as you can see, we can take a peek at it. This is a really cool safety feature with this printer, um, because watch this, if you have kids, and they're like, oh, wow, it looks like fun, because some um, laser engravers don't have uh, an enclosure or the protection here, so a kid, a kid could accidentally put their hand there. But if you open it, it stops, and then we're just checking it. Kind of neat, huh? And now we can slowly and carefully close it because you don't want to accidentally move it. If you move this, then, you know, you're pretty much um, uh, throwing your print off. All right, so let's check back and see how it looks when it is done. Just so you know, these are the settings here, okay? Remember, one-time engraving, meaning it's going to go around once. And then you have maximum power 60%. That, remember, that's for this one. When you click on it, that's for that experience. Each graphics has its own um, customized uh, engraving speeds, power, and intervals. Intervals can only be used on art, though. And for the art, you see we have 0 0.05. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys when it is done. Voila! We finito! Look at that. This is great. Somewhat, to some extent, you know, there's some flaws, uh, but as you can see, might be Mother's Day. See that? And the thinner the paper, right, as you can see, um, it comes out a little bit better, but you lose some of your texture and, and stuff. But there we go. You know, we lost the happy, but you know, that could always be fixed. Uh, if you just leave, you can always put text in there and type it. So what you do is you would leave it, don't take it out, um, just leave it and then type the text in really small in there. Um, and then that would work that way. But there you go. And then you can have this like that. You can cut this out, right? And then remake a card if you're really crafty that way uh, in that particular sense. Because remember this, we're using a thank you card. We could say thanks for being my mom or you could just cut that off, right? And use um, special colored paper, right? To remake the card because there's nothing better right than a hand crafted card so see move this like that move this up and we can fix it one second and take the card right make a nice little card be crafty that way and then slice that take the paper leave a little bit of slack so because remember we're going to glue it Right? You could also use scissors to trace it. Have our little thing here. Take that. And for this one, we can bring all the way down. You could also use scissors. You're not, you don't have to use the blade. Okay? Voila. Here's our card. See? Like that. And then we're going to bring it up so it's like a little bit like that. All right? Fold it. Okay. Don't laser engrave this. You could, but I don't know the settings um, for that, so I'm not going to be able to help you, if that makes any sense. I'd have to figure it out the way I did with this one. So, knowing that and moving forward, you are flying blind. But if you do figure it out, share, because that would be kind of cool. Um, if we can all know the settings for um, this kind of construction paper. We already know the settings for the card, right? So, voila. You could also use the original card, but look at that. Kind of neat, huh? You have your very own personalized 
Mother's Day. And you can do the happy, you know, you can write in there, but it says Mother's Day, you're the best, right? So that we, do, we would just have to fix the happy. And as you can see, it's fixable. Um, and you could use your brush, right? Get rid of the remnants of, of that stuff. See? Gives the card a little bit of a punch. Or you could use an airbrush, right? Mother's Day. You're the best. Um, and, you know, you personalize it with um, whatever you feel should be said to your mother. Kind of neat, huh? Your own personalized Mother's Day card. Laser engraved. Some tweaks, but they're fixable, as you can see. Uh, and personalizable, if you, that's what you want to call it. And um, definitely something to send to the one you love. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.